going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Now is the time for any concerned citizen to speak to the council on an item that's not on the agenda. Having seen none, we'll move on to consent items. I make a motion we approve consent items. I'll second. Aaron Holtz? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Sloan? Aye. Wietrich? Aye. Zamalik? Aye. New business, item A. Consider second reading of an ordinance establishing 35 mile per hour speed limit on Grimmel Road from Lincoln Way to US 30. Anybody heard anything? Me either. I move, move to place it on second reading. I'll second. Jackson? Aye. Sloan? Aye. Wietrich? Aye. Zamalik? Aye. Aaron Holtz? Aye. Item B, consider second reading. Mayor, yep. should we waive the third reading on that? Is there any reason to have a third reading on that? I don't think so. We just need to make a motion? Yeah. I make a motion, we uh, waive the third reading on the 35 mile an hour zone. Second. <laughs> Sloan? Aye. Wietrich? Aye. <coughs> Zamalik? Aye. Aaron Holtz? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Question. Yep. Coltrane has a question. I have a question real quick. Since you're waiving the third reading, when would this go into effect out on Grumble Road? When would motorists see those signs go up? He's wanting to know when does it go into effect? Yeah. As soon as it's published. We can't get it in um, until the next, yeah, I'd have to put it in next Monday. Next Tuesday, it'll publish on Thursday. Yeah, I'll put it in next Monday and it'll publish on Thursday. Next week. I'll make that motion. <laughs> I'll second. To final adoption. Yeah. Yeah. And Wietrich. Aye. Zamalik. Aye. Aaron Holtz. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Sloan. Aye. <coughs> Item B, consider second reading of an ordinance amending chapter 75 to allow for off-road utility vehicles. <coughs> Uh, the one I did here was in reference to, I believe, a three-wheeler or a four-wheeler that is uh, specially made with oh, kind of a cargo space in the back, but it's a straddle-type vehicle. Um, that was the only one that contacted me in reference to, you know, your ATVs and things like that. I did look them up, and they do kind of look like a side-by-side uh, uh, side, but it's just the front of it's different um, but that's that's the only thing I really heard yeah and our ordinance would not uh, current at least our the ordinances currently proposed wouldn't allow one like that on the street no yeah. no so I thought. I'll make a motion we uh, consider second reading Wietrich? Aye. Aaron Holtz? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Sloan? Aye. Zamalik? Aye. Well, I don't know. There were some there was potential for question about that. Should we wait one more thing okay. or just go yeah. ahead? You're going to just I'll make a motion we uh, waive the third week, 
third reading for that. I'll second. Zamalik. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Sloan. Aye. Wietrich. Aye. Aaron Holtz. Aye. And I will make the motion to go ahead and adopt it. Second. <laughs> Wietrich. Aye. Sloan. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Aaron Holtz. Aye. Zamalik. Aye. Item C, resolution approving 435,000 CDBG program contract for housing upper story conversion. This is the uh, grant that resulted from the application that Chris had worked on. I think uh, Region 12 helped you with it also. Uh, and as you heard last meeting, it's been approved. So now there's a grant agreement in front of us, which we just have to adopt a resolution approving it so that they can go forward with it. I don't know if you want to make any more comments on it or. That was very well. <laughs> <laughs> you can email that. Yeah, right. Honestly, that wasn't Yeah, this is uh, what we were hoping for. This is that first big step getting the grant, and then once we got this, now we're in the process of uh, qualifying for the historic tax credits. And so very similar to like we talked about when we were, when we were last. So exciting, exciting step in the project. It is. I, and I move to approve that resolution. I'll second. Sloan? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Wietrich? Aye. Zamalik? Aye. Aaron Holtz? Aye. Item D, consider resolution approving acceptance of property from GCDC to be used for animal shelter. So this is the project, you know, uh, Don Orris was here a few couple of meetings ago and He's going to go ahead with the construction of that. I think he has an architect hired now that's coming together with plans. And we're now to the point where people have to start signing and making application to have utilities extend to it. And it probably makes sense to have the title to that in the city for purposes of doing that. So GCDC is ready to convey that to the city for no consideration. They're having an abstract brought up to date now so we can look at it to make sure title is good. But uh, this evening we're just asking that you adopt a resolution approving acceptance of that property subject to our review of the title. So, any questions? Oh. <laughs> you have a question? I, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, no. I have a question. Oh. <laughs> I move to adopt this. I'll second. <laughs> Aaron Holtz. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Sloan. Aye. Wietrich. Aye. Zamalik. Aye. For reports, Jim. Uh, yeah, we have several projects going right now. Chestnut Water Main, pretty much everything's finished up. Uh, we're still working on some punch list items and seating. Uh, should be working on closeout documents and stuff for probably the first meeting in November. Uh, airport runway extension. Um, all the earthwork is done, culverts in. Uh, they had moved the threshold on the runway. That is now back to its original location. So the original runway is fully open and operational. Uh, essentially they are done for the winter they will start back up as soon as the weather allows in the spring to start with the pavement installation on that uh, arch alley uh, they poured the two outside panels for the majority of it today uh, tomorrow morning they will do the center of it um, then we'll have some a couple of pours for tie-ins at the alley and then clean up and and miscellaneous stuff, joint ceiling, um, should be close by the end of the week. Uh, otherwise, the uh, following week, they should be getting pretty much done on that one. 
Um, David Williamson had mentioned that he would probably be sometime in November, early to mid-November, be looking to install the the uh, arches once the concrete's had time to cure out and get strength on it. Uh, shared use path, the project is going to be starting back up here probably on Monday. We are moving to the East Lincoln Way phase. Um, they'll be working on the north side, curb and gutter and green spaces mostly. Uh, weather permitting, if they get all those done, they'll move to the, to the south side and start working west to east on the trail itself and the driveways. Um, so yeah, that one's that one's getting back up and going, and should will be going until weather closes them down, and then pick it back up in the spring. Thank you, Roxanne. No report. Bob. Yes, I do have a report this evening. I guess I've communicated with each of you, and I sent you a letter today. So I just kind of want to confirm that. Uh, you know, the time has come for me to step aside and I'm going to resign as of the end of this year. So that leaves about five or six more meetings. Um, I guess I'm suggesting you put on the agenda not too far in the future, you know, appointment of a successor because there should be a transition period there and there are things there that it makes sense to transfer to whoever that new person is. And in fact, I've already had a conversation with Matt, you know, one item. You know, that I think it makes sense for the new person to work on because they'll have to be enforcing it for several mm -hmm. years. So, anyway, it's been an honor to serve you, and uh, I'll be happy to stick around and help with the transition. So, thank, thank you. you. You said five meetings, Bob. Sounds like you're not counting or anything. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you slipped in an extra one. Huh? <laughs> Mike? Yeah, Bob didn't take it very well. I said we should have a meeting every Tuesday from now on out. <laughs> so he says, that's nice. <laughs> um, I have one thing. Our, the dumpster pickup, the, the free dumpster that you talked about and approved last time, so far very successful. The ladies downstairs and then Skeeter, they've really coordinated well together. We've had over 50 people sign up. Um, already delivered about 10 that have come and gone so far. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. There's some questions at first, but they're working out a lot of the bugs on it. I see the blue containers are starting to fill up. So that's good and hopefully people are using their recycling as much as they can. But I think over time we'll have a better idea just um, how many we're going to be delivering per year. So that's all. All right. Mark? No report? Harry? Uh, no report. Matt? Uh, we had a uh, re uh, park and rec meeting and <coughs> one of the highlights of that was that uh, there's uh, a very passionate gentleman who's uh, kind of planned out a disc golf course, 18-hole uh, disc golf course to potentially go in at Dobbin Deck Park. And it'll be largely uh, self funded fundraising uh, endeavor with that but uh, that's something that's growing right now it's a very popular uh, recreational activity that'll bring people here they have tournaments and all that stuff so uh, after we kind of coordinate a little bit with Dave Moreland and making sure that the parks maintenance side of it is on the up and up that uh, they'll start doing some fundraising for that it looks like so anyway that'll be a, a neat addition to our uh, community as well that's it we should talk after the meeting I got an idea for that cool Darren well as you well know there was um, a wedding at Kelso and I just want to say thanks to you mr. mayor and Dave Moreland and um, Dave Davis I think went mm -hmm. way above and beyond mm -hmm. in a lot of different things and I don't think a small town could probably have done all that and a big town probably wouldn't care so I right think that all of that yeah, no, it was it was all Dave Moreland, and Dave Davis that did it. I simply well, I gotta thank you. For just made the, a phone call, but yeah, the bride. I said I made some calls. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> very Dave, Dave really did the, very appreciative that they were able to get that <laughs> to go. Yeah. Pat? 
Yeah, police committee meeting, we uh, talked about, if you remember, Landis was in here, what, a couple, last month. Uh, we talked about closing that railroad uh, <coughs> tracks there on Central when they're loading. Uh, Mark and the sheriff talked, they didn't see a problem, so Mark was going to talk to the appropriate city folks on that. Uh, we also talked about uh, the, uh, getting a slow zone out on Highway 30 um, as you come into the high school there. Uh, Mark was also going to talk to the state on that to see if that was possible and what we could get done out there. Talked about a couple other things. Uh, animal control was one of them. You know, a, a part-time, full-time animal control person. More to come on that later, but we did have that discussion. So. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of interviews for officers, so those were moving forward, and then uh, obviously officer retention is on the uh, agenda every time, so we talked a little bit about that. So, yep. Mark, I don't know if you have anything to add to that, but okay, that's all I have. All right, Dave. Just a quick update on the animal shelter. Uh, we got that resolution tonight. <clears throat> Don's hoping that he, we can send the, the bid documents out the 27th or 29th and possibly open the bids November 19th. Uh, hopefully construction to be completed in 2021, if all goes well. Yeah, and I reiterate a little bit of what Pat said you know we're moving forward to some interviews I kind of wanted to take a moment tonight and get an update on negotiations as far as what we're looking like for planning the next steps and if it's going to be sitting down with the, the union if that's going to be soon The day we have, we talked with the uh, union person today is, is November 4th is when we'll sit down with them. Okay. Each side needs to provide their initial offer. So much time to respond to it. Okay. So we'll make our initial offer before that date and then sit down they and hash make, it out? They make their initial offer first. Okay. And the city has two weeks to respond. But they'll exchange our negotiator and theirs will exchange will exchange offers. So when we come together on November fourth, um, the union and their representatives will be there, and the city and their representatives will be there, and that's hopefully we can get it hashed out then. Did they give you any idea on when they might be ready to make their? They did not. Okay. As soon as I know they wanted to get it done as soon as possible. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we got. Let's adjourn.